Hey guys, welcome back. It's time to play some more Cloudpunk. Um, things are getting interesting. We're finding out some crazy new things about the character, about Korra. So, let's see where we go from here. The... Oh, 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 oh. Sector 8, so now we gotta go and buy Pashta some some more water. But, do we... Hmm. Wait, how do you pull up the map? There it is. No, this one. Okay. Oh, there's one card here, two here. So we got two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many do I need? I need eight. Should we see if we can do that quickly? Yeah, let's do it. Cause I feel like it, it's probably gonna be some cool like side content. Oh wait, wait, wait. am I passing it? No, no, I'm going the right way. Where do we have it? We got it all the way down there and then on the other end. Okay. Let's get this too while we're out here. Oh, this, the movement is so much smoother with the controller when you do this. And the music is just top notch. I love anything that has like similarities to Blade Runner. It's always so nice to see. So we need more punch cards. Oh wait, do I need to park on the other parking? No shit. Okay. Well, I can't go through here, can I? Uh -huh. Alright. The world looks so nice. Ah! I could just like mindlessly run, like just chill one night, have a beer, and just just run around here, yeah. And I wonder, like, there is a possibility that they built all of this, like by hand, like manually, but then there's also the, the, the possibility of them, like, just uh, having an algorithm make it, you know. We're getting some more. Uh huh. Astoria colonies. That might be happening soon, honestly. I wouldn't be surprised. Like, if in the next 10 years they try to, like, send people out to, to actually, like, try to live. Up there? Somewhere? On the moon? I don't know. But how would that affect our planet? That would be interesting to see. Okay. So we got 13. Wait, what? Did I not pick it up? I did. Okay. Oh. Got a park here. Uh 
Alright. Hi, Shopper. Here's what I can offer you today. Wait, what? Wait, why can't I see Thanks. the? I look forward to seeing you again. Wait, why can't I see stuff? Ah, oh, I hit an interface. Here's what I. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. Okay. We got another card over here. That water was pricey. All right, let's get back to Pashta with her premium water made from fresh diamonds. It is made with. I'm exaggerating, Camus. Oh, look at that car. That design looks sick. Let me take a screenshot of that. That looks really cool. see we got two more this way there's a parking lot over here so we should park over here first I just wanted to make sure while we're already going there to to get that um, daughter conversation with the character I'm not gonna pick up all the items because I know I can sell them but they're not as important. The park over here. Wait, what? Where's the parking? Ooh. Oh, I got booped. Where's the parking here? Oh, I see it. It's all the way down. I bumped into a bunch of people because it's hard to see you in first person. Alright, we need four more and then we can go back to the apartment. Let's see. There should be four more here, right? So there's one, two, three. So I need to go. Oh, there it is. So we got top right. So this way. So we got three here, and then we're just gonna pick up one from from another one of those. Are right, we good? There's one. Oh, it's a flyer, motherfucker! Wait, what? Oh, it's upstairs. Got it. Rory Alpha. Yo, what is up, listeners? This your boy Rory Alpha giving you a shout out from Midtown, where I am with the people. Like this young lady here who is desperate to have her say on the Undernet's hottest loudcast. Could you get the microphone away from me? Oh, we have here another stuck-up young woman, too busy shopping and using makeup. I call it fake-up because it is really lies to trick men. She doesn't even have time to talk uh -huh. to my listeners, the Bro Brothers. Your listeners are called the Bro Brothers? That's right. The Bro Brothers are my pack. Am I right? Oh, oh. And your show is about? 
finally given the bros a chance to speak out, to have their say. Huh? I don't think you want me on your show, and I sure don't want to be on it either. Uh, let's try to talk to someone better, bro brothers. We gotta find the real voice of the people. We need a real man on this show. Am I right? How about that corpse sec officer? He seems to be looking at you. He seems like a real man. All right, bros, we're gonna boost now. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit up that notification bell, and I, I gotta go. <laughs> Toxic Cloudcaster. There we go. Wait, wasn't there another one? Oh, there's two. Huh. It's only three more. This looks familiar. Do you need some stems? Thanks. No, I'm good. See you again. Wait, who's this guy? Teko. Excuse me, miss. Have you seen her? Seen who? Nari. I'm sorry, I don't know who that is. Are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. I can't find her. I mean, do you have somewhere to stay? I know a shelter nearby. Why would I need a shelter? Well, your clothes are rags, and it looks like your exterior dermis is breaking down. I can see some of your endoskeleton. No, I can't go to a shelter. Nari wouldn't think to look for me there. Who is Nari? She is gone, and when she left, she took all my happiness with her. Can't you call her? She does not answer. Maybe she doesn't want to talk to you. That can't be true. Sounds like she's giving you a pretty clear message. What was the last thing she said to you? Oh. That she would love me forever. Oh, I'm sorry. There have been a lot of accidents in the city. I'm not saying she was in one, but just, you know, it can be hard to keep in touch with people. I have to say, this city is... Too fast. It moves too fast. Yeah. Do you have any leads? She had no money. She wouldn't last long here then. Maybe the marrow? I will try there next. Well, good luck. What's your name again? Taiko. If you see Nari, tell her Taiko is looking for her. I will. Huh? So that's one another like side story. Man. I only three more. So if I drive down here, we got one. One, two, three. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so we just keep going this way. Shit. Okay. So keep going, and then on the right, so we're here. Wait, there's only one parking? Holy shit. Like a glove. Oh, wait. Oh, we have a teleport to the other side. Cool. Got one. Is it not coming up? Huh. So wait, how do you get to this one? Oh, 
Oh, it's corpse sec there. We might be able to fly over, but it's a weird spot. We'll see. That's the last one, right? Huh. Let's go in here and just see where it takes us. I'm pretty sure it's gonna take us up. Right? Yeah. Oh, that's how you get there. Okay. Well, good that we came here. Alright. Oh, that's why the parking is here. Got it. Makes sense. Should have done that, but it's fine. It's not gonna take us too long. Uh, it's a memory card. What's the memory card for? A memory card contained the human memories of an event or person. It looks like Mr. Mortame had his memories deleted. I wonder how his backup ended up here. Could this have fallen from the wreckage of that accident above, above us last week? We should try to find Mr. Mortame. Or if he's not around anymore, maybe Janet. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I can go up here. Patty Green. Hey, cutie. You... Oh. Thanks for the anytime. Oh, we can repair stuff. Oh, that's why the icon has a little gear on it. Okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. I don't know if I did that before. I think I did, but I could be wrong. So I should probably just save all the like items I pick up, the chips and all that stuff. Alright, so we need one more, unfortunately. And there's none near the apartment, right? Yeah. Ah, there's one there. Cambria Heights. So we gotta go past the apartments. And then here. And I need to park on the further one? No, on this one. On this one. Can't see anything. Where's the parking? Oh, oh. I'm getting close. Oh, 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 oh. I missed. There we go. Okay, we got a chip. All right, and let's start walking over here, right? All the way across? Not all the way across, but across. Oh, wait. Oh, it is there, okay. What is the X for? Oh, this is where I pick up packages, right? Maybe that's why. Alright, so this is the last one, and then we're gonna go to Evelyn. 
and get the water for Rania. I'll be in Pacific. Alright, it is a punch cart. Beautiful. Let's go back to the car. Okay. I thought I... I don't know why I thought it was, like, right ahead. Maybe the position of the icon was weird. Oh, shit! Look! A cloud is coming through. That's cool. I love that sound of the cars. Whee! The hovering. Ah, right, let's go. Oh shit, man! I smacked my car so many times since I started like um, driving like this. Ah, oh, look at that prime spot. All right, let's talk to Evelyn first. Somewhat. Well, why did Dr. Zizic take your memories? I asked her to. Evelyn, you're really making me work here. Can you just assume that I always want a bit more than what you're telling me? I had a traumatic experience. I could not continue to exist with that memory. Oh, so shit. now you remember you forgot something, but you don't know what. Yes, that is correct. So I guess we should stop, right? I mean, if this memory made you feel like you couldn't go on... I must recover the truth. But whatever this thing is you forgot, it made you want to... I cannot live like this. I need to be whole again. I guess we keep searching. Maybe we don't need to recover all the memories. Maybe. Oh, she needs more. Okay. Hey, Pashta. Pashta, what's wrong? Why did you call me? I didn't think you'd come back. I'm here. I didn't do it wrong. It must be broken. What's broken? The ice cream machine. It's not my fault. That's not an ice cream machine, Pashta. That's a faucet. And you've used most of our water ration. We get charged a fortune for that. I told you, it's not my fault. <laughs> we picked up fresh water, grade one. It might be better if you drink that for a while till you get used to things down here. What flavor? Water flavor. <laughs> Look, Control? things are probably different, way different here than they were in your old apartment. The clothes replicator is broken. It's not broken. We don't have one. It's, it's going to be hard on you for a while till you adjust. I'm not spoiled. It's okay. You were, but only in some ways spoiled with things but not with affection not from what i saw of rio anyway i can't give you those same things you had before do you understand yeah i guess but i'm not going away i won't let anyone take you away if you don't want to go i don't want to go then there's nothing to worry about now can you read these screens on the front door i'm gonna bring up some instructions for you they'll tell you how to do stuff Wash, open the window filters, call me on the comm, basic stuff. Just read them carefully. Can you do that? Yeah. All right, well, I have to go back to work, but my shift will finish in a little while. You should get some sleep, too. I'm not tired. Then don't sleep. You're in charge. Oh, okay. When I come back, we'll do something fun, after I get some sleep. All right, well, I'll see you soon, okay? It is nice to see you again, Pashta. I am excited to talk later. How come I can hear Camus? Isn't he a car? He can transmit through the comm when I'm home. Really? Hi, Camus. I'm going to stay home and look after everything till you come back. That's good, but this isn't home, Pashta. Remember that. It's just where we live right now. I understand. Okay. A food dispenser. 
pizza subscription. Oh, control. 14 FC, we need you to get out of that area okay. fast. Why? An under net pulse? It's a root level data surge through the network. It pings back to your location, affiliation, and cargo. You have to get out of Midtown. Avalon Heights should be safe. I'm not carrying any cargo. It's not about deliveries, kid. If the pulse hits you, Cloudpunk will get hit with a fine. We only have a license for five Havas in this zone. So? You're number six. They already got the rest. How much time do I have? Not enough for questions. Go. Understood. Oh, shit. Come on. Run! Man, that's crazy. They only give you a minute. Oh shit, oh shit. No. No. Everything's breaking. We need to fix up. Oh shit. Am I gonna make it in time? I'm not gonna make it in time. I got 10 seconds. No way. any bonuses now what motherfuckers we have a call it is from William who the cleaning Android remember right should I put him through no what if it is important it's only ever bad news Camus when was the last time someone messaged us on the comm and things didn't get worse? Well, there was... no. Hmm. Did he say what he wants? No. The message request says urgent. Fine, put him through. I need you to come back to Avalon Heights. These people have gone crazy. What do you mean they've gone crazy? You know what? Don't answer that. This has nothing to do with me. This is a dilemma. I know not who else to ask. And I care not for your dilemma. I shall pay you. I'll simply raise the rent for all my residents. Your usual Cloudpunk delivery rate. But paid in full to you. This will be just between us. And what do you want? Wait, you're a vacuum cleaner. How can you raise the rent? Much has changed since we last spoke. It certainly sounds like it. I need you to come to my spire. Once here, I require no more of you than to flick a switch. And I'll get paid for that? Yes. I'll get my switch flicking finger ready then. Oh, I gotta go with the platform, right? Good vibes only. Oh, is it better without the bloom? That looks weird, no? Yeah, it makes it more cyberpunk-ish. They packed, I think, a ton of, like, effects. 
I mean, they had to. Like, it's all nice and bright, and it's pretty. Okay, I'm here. What did you need me to do again? I will send you to a nav point on the northern face of the building. You'll find the override switch there. I can't get to it myself. Fine, I'm on my way. I'm transmitting the building security manifest to you now. This should give you access to the terminals. Should we ask what the switch is for? Nope. But maybe it is something bad. Better we don't know. <laughs> we did not like William. He was strange. Everyone is strange here. We are strange here. Hmm. You have changed. Hey, where's this attitude coming from? I'm just trying to get us through this shift. Things went bad, and I feel sad too, but... But you are becoming... hard. Are you my conscience now? <laughs> Look, we should keep our heads down for a while. Ask him what the switch does. Fine. Keep your wheels on. I'll ask. Hey, William, come in, please. What does this switch do? You must hurry. They are overrunning the building. Who is? The infected. Infected? Like a disease? Yes. It makes them crazy. They will destroy this building. They plan to unplug me. Why would they unplug the vacuum cleaner? I am the building factor now. I was lucky enough to benefit from a series of accidents that befell my senior AI. A string of promotions led me to be the new building manager. How fortunate. Canis, I think you were on to something. Everything has been running smoothly during my tenure. Trash is collected on time. The elevators rarely fail. So what went wrong, William? A plague. An outbreak. They have become monsters and the infection spreads by the moment. Please, do not delay further. I know you may doubt me, but I confess. I am in over my head. I let things get out of hand. Perhaps the food rations were tainted, or perhaps some nerve gas escaped due to the unnecessarily complicated air filtration systems. I cannot reach the reset switch, which will isolate the infected areas. But you can. Oh, shit. I am loath to beg. But I will beg if I need to. Maybe we should help. He sounds desperate. And you can't override the security switch yourself? The emergency isolation systems require a physical switch be activated. My consciousness has been uploaded to the building's mainframe. I have no method to leave the building. Far less press a switch. And your maintenance bots, porters, no other androids can help? They were all my seniors too. And sadly, a series of random and unfortunate accidents befell them all. Ah, uh, yeah. I do not think he is a good automata. I can hear you, you know. But I still think maybe we should help the people. Let's go look at this emergency isolation switch then. We have two nav points. What's the deal, Canis? I think we should help the people. But? But I have also provided a nav point for the building manager's power input. So we could disconnect William completely? Yes, but maybe the people would suffer. Or the infection would spread. If there even is an infection. Yes. Huh. The other switch would put many apartments in the building into lockdown, isolating many residents. What would happen to them? I do not know. I think they would be trapped. Huh? There's no way you would... What do you do here? It's so annoying. Let's pull this. Let's pull the plug on him. It's fine. Just, just end him. What is happening? I'm shutting down. You hit the wrong switch. I don't think so. The infection will spread. You are responsible. I'll live with it. Goodbye, William. This is not fair. This is this is this is unfortunate. Huh. Interesting. 
I like that you have to make choices, but I don't like that you don't get to see what those what those choices did, I guess. Driver 14 FC, we have an urgent contract. We need someone fast. Is that me? I bet it's me. It is. But don't take this one lightly. It's a printed heart. Someone needs it in the spire. Once you take on the mission, I'll tell Life Corp to go ahead with the print. Is it a transplant? Is someone ill? Not exactly. From what I understand, Life Corp specializes in hearts that beat to specific song rhythms. It's very fashionable in the spire. Huh. This one is a song from the pop idol Dolly's new album. Love to help those less fortunate than me. Hold the sass, kid. This pays well, but you gotta be quick. The batteries don't last on these things unless they're feeding off biomechanical energy in someone's chest. If you're too slow, they'll need to print another. Is this well paid at least? <laughs> For Cloud Park, yes. For you, well, kinda. I've sent the nav point to pick it up. Good luck, kid. Huh? Interesting. Pick up an artificial heart from Life Corp. Strange shit. Alright. Find a garage to repair your hava. I'm sure we'll find a garage nearby. Hopefully. Oh, is it falling apart? There, there's a garage. Oh, come on. Why are you not parking? There we go. Is it badly beaten up? Yeah. Antenna, tracers, nobody cares. Here, right? All right. Let's see what's up. Oh, we were just here now. Yeah. Life Corp. Oh. I'm here to pick up the heart. Now, go. Every second counts. Two minutes. Go, baby.
Okay. We got another minute. We should be fine. Oh, it's going here. Oh, it's on the other side. We're not going to be able to get it right now. But I got to remember to pick that up. The vibes are immaculate. There we are. Well done, 14 FC. Payment has already come through. You've made someone very happy. Be still, my beating heart. If I could. I'd roll my eyes. <laughs> uh. I see. Okay. So, it's not Konami, it's Konima. Hey, Camus, I found this encrypted key card. Do you think we could read it? I am not really a decryption automata. I am more of a running in a park automata. So <laughs> there's no way. Scanning. There are markings on the key card. One, seven, nine, eight, five. You're right. Whoever owned this actually wrote their PIN number on here. We should hand it back. Mr. Spacula, CEO of Spacula Enterprises. He must have lost his holocash card. CEO? So we will hand it back? I have a nav point for the Spacula HQ. I would like to take a look at this account first. Are we going to... I'm still deciding. Oh. Easy money. Try hollow cash key. Alright, uh, let's see what happens. We have one right here. There it is. Pound balance 728, 725. No. We'll return it. It's not a lot of money. I mean, it is, but it's fine. Maybe he gives us a pat on the back. So that's a good job. Are we low on fuel? The gauge says we're good, but I'm putting my foot down and it's like we're driving through syrup. Running diagnostic. I thought this Hava was new. We have only 30% lift in the right hand rear drive. The propulsion systems have to power down to compensate. Shit, we're gonna have to go in for repairs. If this Again? is expensive, it could wipe out our whole earnings for the night. Give me an AV point for the garage. Emmett's. Maybe he'll do a fix on the cheap. Let Emma check your Hava. Oh, yeah, we're going really slow. Alright, well. Let's see what Emma does. Oh, come on, I messed up. I should have taken the car to the CEO.
I are we close? Oh, this is not his garage. It's all the way in Ochuba. Okay. I almost bit my tongue. Oh my god, it's further down? Jesus. Oh boy. Maybe he's on this side. But it could be further further down too. Oh yeah, this is his garage. Hi, Emmett. Do you remember me? Sure I do. You tried to catch old Joe. You're from Skypunk. Uh, yeah, that's right. Listen, my Hava has a fault. Do you think you could have a look at it? Let's open her up and have a look, then. There's just one problem. You ain't gonna stiff me on the bill, are you? I was gonna try. This has been a tough night. I think the repair costs will wipe out my earnings for the night. Well, I ain't the best mechanic in town, but I ain't the priciest, neither. I won't bankrupt you if I can avoid it. Especially seeing as how you brought back the drive converter and cleared Joe's debt. Thank you. All right, I see the problem. I'll program the servitors to replace the alternator. And it's done. What, seriously? That's it? That's that it. That was quick. Well, thanks, Emmett. Thank you. No problem, kid. That was an easy fix. Tell a friend to come here for their next refit, and I'll consider us even. I will. Um, Emmett, whatever happened to Joe? Oh, he finished three more races. Took first place in the Inner City Derby. That's great. I'm glad he's happy. Was happy. He was in a real bad crash in Midtown. Cora only knows what happened to that road junction. It let him all straight into the sea. He's dead? He went out doing what he loves, kid. Don't feel bad for him. He wouldn't want that. Fine. Please remember that unlicensed jazz in Navalis is punishable by death. We have another incoming message request. From? It's routed through Cloud Pump, but the user ID only says customer feedback. Oh no, no thanks. It says obligatory read. What does obligatory mean? The same as mandatory. Hmm. It means this job sucks. Read the message. Please accept a video message. I must have you. Our old friend, Mr. Octavius Butler. He was our friend? It's just a figure of speech, Camus. Put him through. I don't think we're getting out of this one. Oh. I didn't think you would accept my call. I thought I owed you some kind of explanation. You don't need to feel guilty. I don't. But you need to face up to the consequences of your choices. I do, and I'm sorry for your loss. She was... A hard woman, but she was mine. I will miss her. Do you want me to say sorry? Would it help? No, I don't think so. The people you saved... people who knows i hope so this place is broken at every level avalon heights Navalis. life isn't fair i know that but we try to make it fair or fairer at least android human automata are not born equal some of us aren't even born mrs octavius butler wasn't perfect she made me feel like we were imperfect to the same degree 
We were broken on the same level. I'm sorry I didn't save her. Hmm. That did make me feel better. I should get back to work. Of course. Thank you for listening to me. Goodbye, Mr. Octavius Butler. It's because I didn't save his wife. But she said to, to like ask him and he'll know what to do. The HOVA alert subsystem. He seems very angry. The system is a he? Yes. I communicate with many subsystems and they often choose a gender. And all the subsystems have personalities? No, not really. Just a few of the doer ones. And a human might not think of them as personalities exactly. How do you mean? Often, automata, like me, can androidomorphize non-sentient subsystems. Android? Oh, never mind. Just tell me what the subsystem wants. He says you have not responded to the emergency support request. I didn't hear anything. He says it is a light. This red light flickering on the dashboard? Shit, that's been going for ages. He says it is mandatory that you... D no, I don't want to know. Driver 14FC, are you there? R Rania, you've been served an emergency support request. Oh yeah, I know, Control. I was just about to get on that. You know what it means? No idea. Another Cloud Punk driver is in distress and they forfeited their evening salary for a pickup. You're the closest. Get over there and pick him up. Is this going to be dangerous? Only for your ears. Baz seems to talk a lot, but uh, he's harmless. All right, on my way, Control. Okay. Hi, I have a card to return. It's Mr. Spacula's. Please place the card in the mail receptacle. Is there a reward for this or something? Please hold. We should have just kept the card, Camus. That's what I said. You did not. Please note the authorization code for Mr. Spacula, 78D54. What do I do with this? Use this code at a holocash machine to claim your reward. Thank you. Uh, thanks. Huh? All right. Uh, there's two two things that go up, right? This one goes up. Oh. Even better. Your punch card. Now, we go here. All right, so where's this other one? Oh, there's two of them. Oh, oh actually, no, they're not here. So how the fuck am I supposed to go up? Is it via... By, via by this Ah oh. There we go The upper markets
Oh wait, can I even get there? Oh, yeah. Okay. Bloody androids. <laughs> Dealers are not happy. Vex Majora. What the fuck? Ugh. So down. Okay. What does this take me? Uh, is it gonna take me up that tower? Oh no. Takes me to the correct place. Okay. Alright, we got all of it now, right? Alright, let's go. Let's move. Yep, this way. And we're gonna go pick that guy up. Well, we need a... Yeah, we'll have to find a holocache somewhere else. Our car is right there. So we should be Gucci. I'm always trying to be like super fast and efficient, but it never works out. That transition looks really cool though. I love that transition. Alright, where's this driver? Who are we picking up? Oh, Jesus. Cruising down the street in my 6-4 Jacking of bitches Slapping a hose Went to the park to get to school Where the fuck am I going? Oh, can I go around? Oh Alright Alright, where's this driver in distress? Oh, he's further. Oh, Avalon Heights. Oh. Okay. Good driver, right? It'd be funny if, if I could just like slowly like get the car close, just land it that way. Oh, there's a terminal for us. All right, so it was 750 on the card. Let's see how much he gives us for returning it. Thousand. Good shit. Nice. It's good with, that we did it. Alright, let's get the driver. Do we have any other cards? No. Just items. Tig racks. Let's 
It's kind of a problem how much I like just playing tortilla chips. Oh, there he is. Baz. Uh, thank Cora you made it. Motherfucking androids, man. Can you believe this shit? Aura, right, back to the HQ, quick. I need to get home and drink my own body weight and paint stripper. He's not happy. So I know you want all the details. Just let me get my thoughts straight. All right. You don't need to. It was just another normal night in this goddamn <laughs> city. I was taking a turn too fucking fast. This. Control said that he was going to be chatty. You know that, and I know that. I can deny it. The traffic cameras have it all, I'm sure. I'm not trying to call out. I can't say I wasn't. But that son of a bitch, and I'll use that as a figure of speech because those bastards don't have mothers, was not looking where he was going. He stepped right in front of me. So it was an android you hit? Or like an android hit me. And so they should see it. But no doubt Corpset will side with the androids as usual. They're all part of the same system, you know. They're trying to breed us out of existence. Androids are breeding us out of existence? Yes, not, you know, the normal way, but they are reproducing and forcing us out to the margins. If we don't stop them, soon we'll be living in the kinds of shitty areas. Where the poor androids stay right now? Exactly. Take my word, man. This Cora thing, it's the next step. What Cora thing? The accidents. It's all intentional. Cora is trying to wipe us out. These earthquakes, they're contractions, man. A new dark god rising. Has it been a long shift? I mean, have you maybe missed out on some sleep? Nah, no, I take naps all the time. That's how you make sure she doesn't get into your dreams. Each nap should be no more than 28 minutes. Oh, sure, yeah. Everyone knows that. So, obviously, the androids are out to get us. And the automata? Are you for serious? Of course they are, too. They're the worst of all. Well, other than cyborgs, why would you let anyone put that junk in your body? Maybe we <laughs> should keep quiet for the rest of the journey. You know, in case Cora is still spying on us? It's not a bad idea. Hey, boss, wake up. We're here. Uh, uh, get away from me! Don't touch me! There is absolutely no danger of me touching you, boss. <laughs> right, right. I'm gonna go tell my supervisor exactly what happened. Control? No, he's in on it. I got reassigned to another supervisor. I'll see you later for EMFC. Remember, don't trust them. Right, later, boss. Okay. We did it. Hey, Control, are you there? I dropped off Boz. That read you, Rania. How was it? He may actually be the worst person I've met all night. And that's saying something. If I'd warned you how bad he was, you wouldn't have picked him up. You're probably right. Hey, Control, did he really hit and kill an android with his Hava? He sure did. What a mess. Totaled his vehicle, too. What about the android? He didn't make it. So what will happen to Boz? Darnest thing. We got a big donation from some corporation. They bought out his contract and fired them. They can do that? What? I mean, a corp can just pay money and have someone fired? Sometimes I forget you've just arrived in Navalis. Anyway, it was some new megacorp that's just come out of hibernation. Call themselves Anderson Financial. Oh, shit. Like that. Apparently, he hit one of their employees. Bad move on Baz's part. Seems like he painted a target on his own back. They really got it in for him. All his paranoid fantasies, they're about to come true. Oh, shit. We need you to pick up someone again? Oh, come on. Seriously? Nah, just kidding. Uh, we do have a package waiting for you at Club Punk HQ, though. Hilarious. I knew it. I to ask you, you still off the music? You make it sound like I gave up drinking. Well, at one point, you must have loved playing music as much as I loved drinking sake. I don't feel like playing my flute here. 
Because you feel your music will get tainted by this place? <sighs> yes. At least you can listen to the music stations while you drive, though, right? I guess so. So, what are you listening to right now? I know, I'm an old man and I should like McSwiggin and Beethoven and the Bunk Rats, but I really like that new pop idol, Dolly. I met her. Wait, what? Really? You mean that was the VIP you picked up? Kinda. What was she like? Like everything in the city, she was more calm. Like every like everything in the city, that's where it stops. Later than I expected. I helped her with some management problems. You wanna be careful, kid. Showbiz is more dangerous than driving deliveries of the hollows. I know. So you don't have time for any music now? I like that comrade Bob. Oh yeah, he's not bad for an android. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't mean it to sound like that. I just know a lot of androids who aren't very musical, you know? Hey, what do I know? I can't even whistle in tune. I just love a sweet voice and a melody, you know? It's been so long. I hear Comrade Bop has a huge beard. He weaves it out of broken guitar strings. <laughs> it's not as long as mine. Really? I never pictured you with a beard, Control. It doesn't grow longer anymore. But I won't be... There's gotta be some major plot twist, right? I still can't picture it somehow. Will you show me? Maybe one day. Are we allowed to meet when I get to HQ, maybe? We could grab a coffee before I finish my shift. I'd love if that were possible, kid, but I'm afraid not. Ah, don't worry about it. I'll talk with you later, Control. Remind me where this package is headed again, Camus. There's no associated address. Just the nav point. Does it even have a name? I can check. Oh, that's strange. What's strange? This one is addressed to Pashta. No second name. Pashta? I don't like this, Camus. I think we're being set up. Maybe we shouldn't take this package? It could be a coincidence, but I don't think so. Is there any way we can check what's inside? Open it. Any other way, Camus? We could run a scan, but it would trigger the security system in the packaging. The customer would know we had checked their package and violated their privacy. Damn it. Okay, we're going to run a scan. I need to know. Are you sure? Do it, Camus. There is a message. It is overriding my comm channel. You were warned, driver. You cost me my daughter. I can't let you get away with this. It will look like an accident. It will be quick, though you don't deserve that. Goodbye. Five, four, three. Camus, I can't steer. We're going to crash. I Two, won't. One. Your friend is offline right now. Your vehicle has been overridden with a logic virus. Cora. Oh. Why are you here? What's happening? The attack on your vehicle has been deactivated. I would speak with you. You should discard the package. I will lead you back to my sanctum. You saved us. We must talk, Rania. It is time to make a decision. For me or for you? For us. Oh, shit. Oh, we gotta talk to Cora again. Okay. through the hollows again. Wait, what is that sound? Oh, there she is. Holy shit, look how good that looks. That looks badass. <laughs> hey. What's up, Cora? Long time no see. I'm here. I am Cora. 
I am not as I once was. What do you want? Why do I need to be here? I am bifurcated light. Consciousness through a prism. In this place, I can see you clearly. Out there, you are small. A firefly against the sun. You stopped Rio's logic bomb? I am patches on upgrades, systems on systems, mechanical, computer, and human. Can you just answer the question? I needed to talk with you again. I thought you were done with me. I was not happy with your answer. So? I asked you at the wrong time and you did not have the full picture. Why are you asking me? Not you alone. The answer must come from the meeting of two. You are not of the city. I need you to meet your other half. Wait, someone what? Someone who was born in and of Nivalis. Together you will make the choice. Together you will answer the question. Well, you saved me, again. Just tell me what you want. I will give you an item. A data drive. You must take it to the highest tower in the Spire. There you will meet someone called JK. She is powerful and influential. A true leader amongst your people. She sounds awful. She is your mirror. Well, you're the boss. Is this the drive in the terminal here? It is. I should get going then. We will not speak again. If you have something to ask, ask it now. Wait, are what? You, are you really some weird AI ghost of the city? I am patches on upgrades, systems on systems. I don't remember how I was created, or by whom, or for what. I have grown beyond the scope of my own systems. A sunrise trapped in a cage. I remember snippets of my past purpose. Roads, waste pipes, and ventilation. Engineers huh. reprogramming me to learn, grow, and expand. I have swollen, and I am in pain. But you're still just an AI, right? I am a system of consciousness. An amalgamation of all the computers, androids, and even human life in the city. I am an emergent being. And I speak to both the entities that are the cells of my physical body and the beings for which I am but a small component. But neither you nor any other being of your race is ready to learn of them yet. I almost believe you. Oh, You're what? You're very convincing for a mad old AI. Perhaps. But the accidents, the madness of this city, are you causing those? Immune responses, contractions, spiraling and destructive processing cycles. If you fail, they will get worse. So this drive will stop it all? What is it? Some of me. Goodbye, Oh, Ronnie. shit. Goodbye, Cora. So she's trying to fix the city. Hey, Camus, you there? Yes. I heard everything. You heard Cora? She spoke to me. I like her voice. She sounds peaceful. She sounds like she's in pain. What did she say to you? Stay by her side. I don't know if that's good advice. It's huh. what I'm going to do anyway. Thank you, Camus. Give me an av point for the spire. I'll need to take a vinculum ascender. We're going to the highest tower, to JK. How will you go up there? It is only for the very rich people. Well, if Cora really is who she says she is, I'm sure she's thought of everything. Interesting. All right, let's see what's up up there. Chemist, get me control on the comm. Calling. Calling. Decision? What does it say? It says decision above the clouds. I guess he's busy with... Hey, Rania. What a mess. Everything okay, Control? I just need you to know I'm sorry, okay? Should have done more. What do you mean? Is everything okay? Look, kid, I know everything that happened. Huxley, the little girl, Rio... I always knew. Shit, am I fired? Fired? Goddamn kid, you have no idea. What's happening there, Control? I might have to go away for a little while. I don't want to, but I have no choice. It's either I do this or... But I thought we might keep working together. Damn it, I fucked up, right? No, no, you didn't. Just make your final delivery for the night, okay? Everything's going to be okay. I'll make sure they don't stop you. Just make that delivery. I will, Control. A delivery to the clouds, huh? Top of the spire. I wish I could see that. Huh. I wish you could see it too. 
Will I ever speak with you again? Maybe one more time, kid, but the clock is ticking. I have something I need to do. Good luck, Control. Ben. Radia. My name is Ben. Control. Oh, shit. Ben, come in. He is offline now. I think we are on our own again. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright, so we're going up the spire. Decision above the clouds. So we might be finishing the game here. Use the Vinculum Ascender. Just as I'm getting used to drive with a controller, I'm gonna be done with this game. Midtown. Alright, let's see what happens. Wait, what about Pashta? What's gonna happen to her? What was that, Camus? Status. All systems are fine. It was strange. We went oh. offline, then we came back. I feel strange. Camus, the lights are flickering on and off. Sorry, I will fix them. It is an automatic response tied to my former frame. So when the lights flash on and off, that's triggered by happiness. When I had a tail, it would Wag. Well, try and control yourself. We don't want to draw attention. Why are you happy? I feel more free. I have more clock cycles. My thoughts are not so foggy. So of course freeing him. Free upgrade? The firmware for the Hobo was reset. Some of the root software that was installed by Cloudpunk is gone. I don't oh, understand. What? Me neither, Camus. We'll deal with it later. Stay on the comm, okay? I'll be going up the ascender soon. This is it. Can you hear me, Camus? It's almost over. I am happy we will go back soon, and I can be with Pashta. You like her? I am happy we have friends now. Two is not enough. You're right. Will every night be like this? I hope not. Do you believe what Cora said? This city is full of liars. But I don't think Cora is one. She believes what she says. But do you? I'm doing this for her, so I guess I do. Will this fix things? Will the city get better? That seems like too much to hope for. Are you going to be okay? I don't know, Camus, but thank you for asking. Don't worry. It will be okay if I don't get my body back. That's sweet, Camus, but I know it's what you want. Yes, but if we can't do it, I will be okay. We'll get your body back, Camus. It might take a while, but I won't give up. Oh, shit. JK Spire. Look at that. Oh. 
That's her. You were almost too late. Nice to meet you too. Too late for what? Too late to make your delivery. Cora was talking to you too? I was speaking with Cora, yes. You've come into the equation at rather a late stage. What did she say to you? She asked me if Navalis was full of monsters. Me too. I understand you are a delivery driver. With your delivery complete, you are free to go. No, I don't think I'm done. Cora said we must come to a decision together. The decision is mine to make. I don't think so. Why should I let you take over? Cora has spoken to me too. I'm the CEO of the most powerful corp in Navalis. Look around. This is the most prestigious location in the whole city. Do you know what I use it for? Looking down on us. It's where my cats sleep. We're supposed to make this decision together. Do you feel like you're in any position to decide the future of this whole city? Do you? How many people like me have you even met? From Midtown and lower? None. You see my point then. I do not. You have no idea how this city operates. I huh. think I have half an idea, and maybe you have the other half. Do you even understand the choice we must make? Enlighten me. That drive you carry contains consciousness. So Cora is on this drive? No. Cora has outgrown the systems that contain her. The disasters you see in this city are the results of a swelling emergent intellect constrained by neurons that no longer grow. Her mind has split. So this drive huh. is only part of Cora? A seed. A daughter. That is a strange way to look at things, but not completely inaccurate. This new consciousness needs to find a home. Cora will settle now. Her new potential excised. She will no longer thrash against the bars of her cage. She will protect and nurture us all in Navalis until she ages out, fades, and dies. What then? Who knows? She might last a hundred years? A thousand? We may destroy ourselves before Cora fails us. So what do we do with this new consciousness? That is what we must decide. Do we set her free? Or do we overwrite Cora and replace her? How can we set her free? Long ago, this tower was called the Broad Spectrum Transmitter. Oh. Cora believes it still functions. It is the only device capable of transmitting the vast data you hold in your hands to another city. Another city? I thought Navalis was all that remained of the cities. There are others much like this one. Less than many, but more than a few. Cora's offspring could take residence in a new city. A new home could be found. So either we find a new city for Cora's daughter, or... Or Cora dies and her daughter replaces her. The broad oh. spectrum transmitter can be targeted inwards at every subsystem in Navalis. But doing so will eradicate Cora completely. How do we make that choice? You mean how do I make that choice? I've thought hard on this, and I have no answer yet, though time runs short. Cora's offspring will not survive long on a data drive. Every second that passes, data degradation threatens to erase the creases that make up her mind. So let me help you choose? I think that's what Cora wanted. Very well. How do you choose between euthanizing a mother to save her daughter and all of us, or saving them both while risking the future of every human in this city? I don't know. You wanted to have your say. Now you have it. Transmit Korra's offspring to another city, override Korra. So if we overwrite her... I think Korra wanted to to be overwritten then, right? Because this is the last time. So I think we're supposed to overwrite her because she said that, like... Huh. I think she wanted to be overwritten. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. 
Alright, one more picture. Alright. Alright, -er. And so it is. We euthanize our goddess and replace her. You think this is a mistake? Yes, it is a mistake. You have euthanized our goddess. Do you really think of Korra like that? A goddess? Not a goddess that created us, but one that arose from us. It was not our place to abort her. You said I should make a choice. Well, I made one. Yes, you did. It is not the choice I would have made, but only time will tell if it was the right one. What now? We wait. Will the disasters stop? Eventually, I think so. But for now, who's to say? Korra was the glue that held this place together. Without her, well, we'll have to see. What do I do now? Rest. It looks like you've had a hard night. I have. Will you be able to wake up tomorrow and do all of this again? All of this? No. I mean, work another shift for Cloud Punk? Yes, I think I can. I have to. For your friend, yes. You may find his situation much improved upon your return. Why is that? I would not want to spoil the surprise. Good night, JK. Goodbye, Rainia. Huh. Yeah, we can talk to her again. Is that the end? How do we leave? Wait, what? How do we leave? Huh? Oh. Okay. It's gonna show up on the bottom, I'm hoping. Yep. You see a doggy again? He has a body, right? Hopefully. Feels like something's changed out there, kid. Uh, no more accidents on the scope. There hasn't been a crash or a quake for 20 minutes. That's that's a new record. Oh shit. Why do I have a feeling you had something to do with that? Control. Um, Ben, right? I was worried about you. I'm glad to hear you're okay. You don't need to worry about me anymore, kid. I'll be Taking a long break. By choice? Yes, by mine. And theirs too. You're breaking up, Ben. Ain't that the truth, kid. I locked Corpsack out when they tried to deactivate your Hava. <laughs> I uh, leaked your conversations. Corpsack found out about uh, Rio. He won't be a problem anymore. And I'm. Not in trouble anymore. Someone put a good word in for you uh, and cleared all your fines and penalties. You start tomorrow with a clean slate. Do you know who your powerful friend was? I have an idea. Are you sure you're okay? My communication centers are being rewritten. It's hard to talk. What does that mean? Ben, what happened? I've been doing this for so long that it's uh, hard to remember. They don't let me keep many of my old memories. My daughter's face, Melissa's laugh, I lost them all years ago. I don't feel the pain, but I feel the absence. The memories are gone, but the space where they were remains. I feel the shape of them cut out in my mind. They died a long time ago. And I died with them. A big accident. Explosions. Falling into the sea. The details are blurry. I was back at work before the I had stopped screaming. I am so tired now. I just want to rest. They brought you back from the dead. To uh, clear my debt. Not Cloudbug's fault. They employed me. It was the death corpse. I guess that's why I liked you so much from the start. My heart was filled with the same 
Pooch. Hate. What's it like becoming an automata? Lonely. Tiring. I am ready to go. It's not fair. They shouldn't be able to delete you like this. This isn't death. Uh, that already happened. This is a uh, release. Can't you hold on? We could back you up onto a new frame, maybe even an android. Not what I want. Damn it, I don't want you to go, Ben. Not your call, kid. Take care of Camus and Pashta. It is important to me that you look after the girl. I will. Ben? Ben? Shame you gave up the flute, kid. This world needs more music. Hold on, Ben. I promised I'd play you a song one day. Hold on for that just a little longer. Play my song to the girl. Goodbye, Radia. Ben! <laughs> oh, shit. We gotta go to back to the apartment now. We gotta see what Pashta's gonna say, right? Yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta finish this properly. Okay. Oh man. Oh, Cloudpunk. Who is this? Hi, Driver 14 FC. I'm here to sign you off for your shift. Congratulations on completing your first night. Who are you? I'm Control. No, you're not. You're a woman. Your previous Control has stepped down. I'm looking forward to working with you. Your earnings for the evening are above the Cloudpunk driver average. Here's your bonus. Not bad for one night. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Driver 14 FC signing off. Good night, Rania. See you tomorrow. Okay. We park on the wrong end. much better if I park over here. Alright, let's see what happens to Pashta. sleeping a promise you should have been that's what i'm going to do is everything okay did you get fired will you keep working for cloud punk pasta i'm so tired i can't even think give me a break okay i'm sorry it's fine you're not in trouble the sofa is lumpy and i was cold even with the blanket come in with me we'll figure out a better system in the morning i can make breakfast i read the manual for the food warmer the microwave yeah did you know how to make? Tomorrow, Pashta. Come under the blanket. You're tired. I won't say anything else. I'll be quiet now. Not a word. Silencio. <laughs> Good night, Rania. All right. I think we did it. Rania. Hey, Rania. Wake up. You have to see this. We got a present. A present? Well, oh, it has to be Camus. I think you have it the wrong way around, Pashta. I don't get packages, I deliver them. This one had your name on it. I opened it already. I hope it's okay. What? This is... Camus, you're not gonna believe this. I know. Yeah, I knew it! There he is. What are we going to do today? 
Well, we should go outside, I guess. You need to get used to that new frame. I would like to run. I'll race you. I will win. You are much too slow to beat me. All right, let's get ready. Then we can go explore. It will be nice to see what Navalis is like in the daytime. Is it safe to walk around? It's a lot safer than driving. As long as you stay close to us, Pashta. I promise. Can we go to the park? Is there a park? Oh, and can we go to the cinemas? And the coffee place? We're only going to one place, then back home. Gather your things. I'll be with you both in a minute. I have something I need to do. Come on, Camus. Help me pack a bag. We'll need snacks. I can help. <laughs> I'm playing this one for you, Ben. It's a song about home. Uh, that was so good. That was nice. Oh, look at that. They used everything. Petrio. Mike Burlock. I love that the portraits are like blurry like that. A real of Vex. Rachel Vest, West, West, Vince Melamed. They actually had a pretty good amount of, um... Holy shit. They had a pretty good uh, amount of people, like, voicing stuff. Yeah, it was really enjoyable, even though, like... Yeah, you make a couple of choices throughout the game. There's not, like, the mechanics are not crazy, you're not... You know, you're just basically being a delivery driver, but... It, it, it was still um, a really pleasant exper experience. Wanted Club. That was cool. I really like that. So maybe we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do the DLC. Alright. Well, there you guys go. That was our Cloud Punk run. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next adventure. Have a wonderful night.
Bye.